I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me, or Surrey? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I failed the order. Allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened. Which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. know what the loyalists are planning if we're to put an end to this i've tried but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now only to await orders from above keep digging come find me when you have something worth sharing we're so close to victory a few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown what do you intend well nothing at the moment since we're completely in the dark i thought the templars had eyes and ears everywhere oh we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half, 
Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. Well, they're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Ah! Ambush! Connor? Little help here? Leave the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them. Bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course.
The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And waste precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. When the summer sun has beaten you into the shade with an elephant's thirst, reach for Tedman's gooseberry tonic and restart it. <laughs>